All right, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I hope is not going to be a long one. I hope it is going to be a uh, short. However, I kind of have an idea of how to make it short. So today is going to be somewhat of an unboxing, not only an unboxing, but it's going to be a lot of comparisons when it comes to Pat McGrath Mothership palettes. And when I say unboxing, I pretty much already opened the package. I was able to go ahead and order Pat McGrath's Eye Ecstasy Kit from Sephora. I know I usually rarely order stuff when it comes to Sephora. My understanding is that this Eye Ecstasy Kit uh, was an exclusive for Sephora, I believe. Um, however, I do not tend to order stuff from Sephora like when it comes to like the Mothership palettes. Very rarely would I actually order from Sephora just because the times that I have ordered from Sephora, the palette packaging pretty much comes in torn, damaged, dented, anything like that. The packaging, not the actual palette itself. So when it comes to little displays like this, when it comes to like, you know, the little, um, sequence packaging i don't mind just because there's kind of no damage that could pretty much happen with this so um disclaimer i will not be fingering this uh new little package i have a thing about fingering my stuff i rarely uh swatch stuff just because a it looks different when you swatch it on your hand on your forearm wherever uh, than what it is when you actually put it on uh, primer oil you know like oil natural oil in your skin whatnot all of that can just cause differentiation and b this shit's expensive so yeah i really do not swatch uh, my stuff when i get it sometimes if it's a cheap palette that is just like eh, you know okay yeah once in a while i have kind of fingered my stuff but usually i don't so coming into this uh, little package, of course, this is the Pat McGrath well-known sequence packaging. My goodness, I have gone into Pat McGrath probably a little bit over a year. I remember, what was it, December, maybe December 2017. Um, I was always curious when it comes to... Um, you know, these these packages that came in sequence and why they were so filthy expensive. Um, I would always see these palettes and I would always say like, yeah, I'm buying that palette. Like, I'm stupid. But to be honest with you, there is absolutely positively nothing that compares to Pat McGrath. At this point, I pretty much have everything. I have all of her Mothership palettes, both the five big ones and the six minis. And then I have some lip products. I bought my first ever purchase was the original Dark Star kit. Um, that was my original purchase. And that was basically, that just sealed the deal. I mean, it was effortless. It was foolproof. It was beautiful. It was just, it was foolproof. That basically opened up the door to realize this stuff might be expensive, but it's freaking worth it. Um, so I have lip products. I have other stuff. Um, I also have the skin fetish, the original skin fetish, not the one that she relaunched. And then, of course, I went ahead and I purchased this. Now, don't get me wrong. When I have purchased the Mothership palettes, I have noticed. Because they're like secrets everywhere. I have noticed that when it comes to the Mothership palette, I think it was palette number three has a lot of repeats, which is kind of like, ooh. So then she launched this one, and I think this one was 40-something. Um, and then she has her new minis coming out. Uh, so my biggest concern is basically... I'm not down for repeats. It kind of sucks. I know like for the third Mothership palette, there was some repeats. I think there's like three repeated colors. And I was just pretty bummed because I was like, you pay a shitload of money for this stuff. And you're mean to tell me that three out of the 10 colors I already have in the other previous palettes. Like what the hell is that? Um, when it comes to these, Dude, believe me, she's very active on social media, whether it's her or whether it's someone that 
Uh, oh dear, this one's gonna make a mess because there's a bunch of sequins in there. This one's gonna make a mess. I don't know if she's very active on social media or if it's people that basically control her social media for her. Um, but I know when it, oh dear, that is a lot of sequins hidden in this little package. So basically, this is uh, the uh, palette just filled with sequins. So this is the palette. It is pretty small. To be honest with you, when I first opened up the box, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I don't know what size I was expecting, but that obviously was not the size that I was expecting. I guess I was somewhat expecting. I mean, I kind of knew that it was just going to be very simple packaging. And I guess I was expecting somewhat of the size of her minis because I think there's six colors in here. So I was really expecting, you know, the size of her minis. But if you compare her minis to like, you know, her little palette, super small so here's basically the comparison and her minis have six colors so right now we're compare those sizes um so yeah when i opened it i was like what i was, I was definitely expecting something much much bigger um but like i was saying she now has her um individual colors coming out i believe they are 17 new shades out of those 17, I don't remember if it was six or seven shades that were absolutely positively new. The rest were basically repeats. Um, I know a lot of people are having a fit because of Decadence, her palette number four. Apparently, that was just an ultimate, ultimate limited release. And a lot of people wanted her to either come back with that palette or have a lot of her singles come out of that palette, which I mean, I'm sorry, but I kind of don't know what that feels like because I ordered it. So um, we're basically going to do some comparisons. I'm just getter brained. Um, I had asked on social media, like I had previously mentioned before I went on off on a tangent. Usually she or whoever owns her Instagram is pretty... Um, I guess, communicative when it comes to her, her palette, her palette, her Instagram, if that's even a word, communicative. So I basically asked uh, when she had previewed this because Rogue basically, yes, I call it Rogue. Some people call it Rouge. I don't know why, um, but I call it Sephora Rogue. Um, I barely made it to Sephora Rogue last year. And I'm shocked and I'm probably for sure not going to make it this year. Um, but anywho, <laughs> I don't want to go off on a tangent. So I asked, not that it matters, but are any of the colors duplicate colors? And she actually replied and she says that Dark Matter, which is basically, yeah, Dark Matter, I think is one of the repeats that, you know, it's a black. And a lot of her palettes have black. I know there's a dark matter. And I think there's an extreme black. Which is like, okay, well, what the heck's the difference? I could kind of swatch those because I believe dark matter. Um, I know it comes out in one of the palettes. And extreme black, of course. So I could definitely, you know, if I, as long as I've used the palette, I could finger it. But when it's a brand new spanking palette, I don't finger it. So this is going to be the mini. Apparently there are no repeats except for the black one. And um, because I also said, is there any repeats from Mothership or is there any repeats from the minis? And her response was basically just dark matter, which I know I've seen dark matter in her palettes and I've seen dark matter in her singles. I... To be honest with you, I would love to buy her singles, the new ones. I don't need any repeats. I have all of her palettes. I don't need any repeats. I don't haven't hit pan in any of them. So I don't need any repeats. However, I'd be down in purchasing all of her new colors. The only downside is that each single is going to be 25 bucks. That is flipping expensive because if her palettes, her regular mothership palettes, are 125 bucks for 10 pans 
that makes them like what a little bit over 10 bucks and then you have these singles that are basically double the price i mean kudos you're getting more money for like you know a color but it kind of sucks because it's like 25 bucks for a little eyeshadow if i want to buy i think it's six or seven or five i don't know there's a certain amount of new colors if i were to buy all of them individually i would basically be spending the same amount of money i think more on buying the new single colors than it would be buying them in a palette which sucks because it's like really like that's just beyond a little messed up am i gonna buy them hell yeah you know i absolutely positively love pat mcgrath if it's new if it's something that's not a repeat you bet your sweet ass i'm gonna buy it um however am i gonna buy them all at once and all together possibly not i'm probably just gonna buy one here and then another one there and then another one here i'm kind of at this point it's like you should have just released a new mothership palette because that would have been less expensive than buying the new palettes that have the new little singles. So anywho, this is going to be the Eye Ecstasy. And these are actually much, much smaller than what I thought they were going to be. Because to be honest with you, and that's like one of the things that I hate, and this is going to drive me nuts, but I don't know where my tweezers are. A little gold thing stuck. Anywho, these are much smaller than what I anticipated um, them to be. I thought they were pretty much going to be the same size as her regular minis or her regular eyeshadows. So here's her regulars. And here's this one. So definitely, I would have to say, these are probably bigger than a quarter. And these are probably like the size of a nickel, maybe a penny. So that kind of sucks. I honestly thought like there's kind of a trickery when it comes to, um, I guess, pictures and stuff that is advertised. Because I could have sworn this was going to be, I mean, of course, after I saw the palette itself and I saw how little it was and I was pretty shocked at how little it was. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Now jumping into, along with the Fetish Eyes Mascara, it was also like a little mini trial size. I really wanted to buy that when it came out. But I was like, no, I was like, I'll bypass. But then when this came out, I was like, oh, I was like, well, I can try out the mascara and I could get myself a little palette. And then this one is going to be an Angel Dust uh, Crystalline Prismatic Pigment. So this pretty much kind of seems like a topper. I've seen her kind of advertise it as a topper. I was kind of scared, hoping that it was sealed and it is sealed. Um, the color is kind of like a rose gold, kind of like pretty much a rose gold. That's the best way I can describe it. So does this one show? So it has it in the back. It has the colors in the back. So that first color, which is kind of like a, a little dark champagne shimmerish color, is called Afterglow. Let's see any of these have uh what was it afterglow so yeah it's a totally different color so totally different it's not included in any of her mothership palettes it's not included in any of the singles i have like the names of all the the singles that are coming out um so that afterglow is totally new the second color is gonna be para 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 diso Paradiso, kind of like paradise, but in Spanish. Paradiso. No, not paraíso would be paradise in Spanish, but this one is paradiso. So number two is going to be paradiso. And um, it's pretty much this color, which is kind of like a brick. 
color. So this color is a totally new color. The next color, which is pretty much this um, bronzish gold sort of color, is going to be uh, Liquid Sun. So Liquid Sun... So Liquid Sun is going to be an absolutely new color. So we know this color for sure, which is going to be uh, Dark Matter. Dark Matter is actually... So this is Dark Matter Pigment, and this one is Dark Matter. Right now, I'll compare it because there is the Dark Matter. I believe the Dark Matter is also in this one. Um, yes, so Dark Matter is included in this mini. Right now, I will swatch it along with the Extreme Black. So what's the difference between Dark Matter and Extreme Black? Because they both look black to me. Uh, the next color is basically kind of like a rosy, brickish, bronzish, copperish shimmer. This one is going to be... Ooh, listen. I do not think that it is in the minis. It is a shimmer. Mm -mm. So not in the minis. I'm pretty sure it's not even in any of these. I mean, I would remember if there was such a color called Listen in one of my palettes. Because I know some of her um, colors, the, the name of the colors are pretty provocative. And so I think I would remember if one had Listen. Yeah, so that one is going to be a new color. And then last but not least, uh, pretty much this like auburn, rosish, shimmerish color is called Amnesia. Cool. So this last color is going to be called Amnesia. Is there any repeats to this one so no amnesia amnesia so actually i don't know i mean i'm a fan of pat mcgrath to be honest with you anything that she comes out with i know it's going to be bitching you know they're expensive and there's a reason why it's expensive because to be honest with you i've used her palettes and then i'll use other palettes and then if she comes out with something new i'll be like oh, I need to have it. So then I go back and then I go back to Pat McGrath and it's just like orgasmic at that point. I kid you freaking not. You can tell the difference. You use her stuff and it's like, well, this is like any other stuff. And then you go and then you use something else. La -da 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 -da. And then you go back and then you use Pat McGrath and you're just like, so I'm a fan. I have her motherships. Totally 100% worth it. I have her minis, totally 100% worth it. When I purchased this, I really didn't look into the colors or like um, there could be possible uh, duplicates. When I asked her on Instagram, yes, she went ahead. Mother did not lie, you know? She said that the only one that was a repeat was basically the black one, which is called Dark Matter. Um, I guess I could jump into that now. What's the difference between black matter and extreme black? Because they're both black to me. So we will see exactly what the swatch is, what the difference is between those two blacks. But to be honest with you, I don't know. I mean, I thought this was super cute. I was expecting something bigger. The set in itself was what, 40 something bucks. You get the little mini palette. You get a little mini, um mascara and then you get this little mini pigment which is super cute i mean i've seen these colors be used alone and then i've seen them being used and then this has a topper so i'm just a fan i am an absolute fan i think i've always said this i think at this point i've hit you know the holy grail when it comes to eyeshadows because to be honest with you, after Pat McGrath, if something else comes out, you have to blow 
my socks off in order for me to buy or considering buying a palette. To be honest with you, I think when I've already had Pat McGrath, I bought the KKW with Mario because I just thought that was just such a staple. And, um, you know, Mario is such a bitch, a bitch in a makeup artist. So I bought that one because it was such a staple. I bought the Ace Butte, the Paradise Collection, because literally I was just blown away. Every single palette was gorgeous. The colors, the themes, they had themes. Compared to these palettes that were coming out of bigger, you know, well-known brands, they just had so many filler colors. And it's like, ugh. And Ace Butte was the total opposite. They had good themes. They skipped out on the filler colors, like, you know, five, six different nudes. They just stick to the theme amazingly. And um, I skipped out on a whole shitload of palettes. The last palette I actually bought was... Um, the last palette I bought was the Kylie Valentine's Day palette. And to be honest with you, I wasn't going to buy it. I wasn't interested whatsoever. But it was 40 bucks, So I was like, well, that's not bad. I bought it. I got it. I've used it. And I was just expecting something a little bit different. Like I had mentioned, when it comes to these promotional pictures, when it comes to these, you know, pictures that you see online, you see something totally different than when you get it and you open it. Kylie Cosmetics with their last Valentine's Day palette had a bitch in red and a bitch in pink. When I opened up the palette, those things looked passed out of me. In no way, shape, or form did they look the way they were pictured online. And that is pretty much the last palette that I have purchased. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I really have not purchased anything after I've purchased Pat McGrath. The only palette right now that I have my eye on, aside from the singles from Pat McGrath, is, uh, believe it or not, the Jeffree Star Blue Blood. I am not a Jeffree Star fan whatsoever. I've never followed him. I think he's a very shady person, to be honest with you. Because he's always been involved with unnecessary drama. And it's just kind of like, mm, I don't vibe with that. It's just kind of like, you know, I don't own a lipstick. I don't own anything from him. However, I am such a whore when it comes to blues and greens that when I saw that palette, I was just like shook. Shook. And it's like such a dilemma for me to like, you know, do I order it? Do I not order it? It's 60 bucks. Do I really want to spend 60 bucks? Like, it's a gorgeous freaking palette. That's like, right now, the only palette that I'm like, oh my god, like contemplating it 100%. Just because that's a palette that's knocked my socks off. Anything other than that has not knocked my socks. So, Going into what I wanted to do, just because I myself have noticed that, you know, this little mini palette has a repeat of dark matter, dark matter, dark matter. So the mini one, this one is going to be the Mothership Subliminal Dark Star Eyeshadow Palette. And it does have this black, which is the dark matter. So... There's other palettes that have the black. Does this one have it? This one is subliminal. I mean sublime. Sublime, yes. So, this one is sublime. This is extreme black. This one is the dark matter. So, it's like, what in the world is that damn difference? black I mean to be honest with you the consistency looks very different so this is the don't want to get them confused 
extreme black. So that's three swipes. That's my extreme black. And then this one is the dark matter. To be honest with you, I think dark matter is grainier. There's, there is a different feel to it because it just, it feels grainier. Like the, the dark matter, no, the extreme black was totally smooth, but this one is the dark matter and it just, it's not a smooth swatch. It's kind of grainy. Like if it had shimmer, but it doesn't have shimmer. That's what I mean by it feels grainy. So they are somewhat different. I don't want to like. They are somewhat different. So this one is going to be um, the extreme black. And this one is going to be the dark matter. It is very... You can kind of tell that they're kind of different. Call me crazy, but I think um, Dark Matter has like a sheen finish. And it does kind of look, I mean, you can tell. That Extreme Black looks black, which is the one, this one. This one is Extreme Black. This one is that um, dark matter. So this extreme black is really black. And I'm telling you, when you swatch it, it's like powder, like powder. Although the dark matter is not black, you can kind of see that it's slightly lighter. There's a graininess to it. Like if it had shimmer, but it doesn't have shimmer. There's no traces of shimmer. Both of them are pretty matte. However, like if you kind of see, I mean, the way I see it and the finish of it, the extreme black is blacker than black, matte than matte. It's just, it's freaking matte. And the dark matter has like, like a sheen to it. The kind of, Somewhat, you can kind of see traces of like somewhat glitter, but it's not shimmery whatsoever. So they are different. Holy hell. <laughs> I did not know. I did not think there was going to be any difference in these two colors, but definitely, definitely different. There is a difference. I could have sworn that I was like, there even be a difference it just it doesn't it doesn't make sense to me that there even is a difference but there is so yeah that is basically my little um unraveling of the little mini um eye ecstasy like I had mentioned it seems to be a very um like a limited edition it is a limited edition but it also seems to be kind of like a Sephora exclusive. Um, I really don't shop at Sephora. And to be honest with you, I always, especially with Pat McGrath, uh, with the experiences that I've had with the Mothership palettes, I prefer ordering straight from Pat McGrath just because I have encountered issues when it comes to shipments. Just shipments that come from Sephora the items are flying around inside of the damn box. And when it comes to Pat McGrath, yeah, stuff is taken care of. You know, everything's nice and packed and good, you know. So I am going to be putting these back. And now we could go ahead and we can focus on the minis. So, like, as I had mentioned, I think there was going to be, um, 
I think like six or seven minis that were going to be, I think six, because I know I had read, even someone pointed it out, like five times 25, I think they had mentioned um, that it was going to be, let me see. 125 so that's a lot five colors when her minis are 55 and carry six colors so and it's actually six new colors so it's going to be 150 dollars if you buy the new six colors which to be honest with you i genuinely do want to get am i get them am i gonna get them all together probably not just because that's insane. Like, just for six colors. I am hoping that she um, has decided to kind of like sell them just the pan. I'm kind of having hope that either it'll be kind of like a BOGO offer. Like you, you know, you buy two for, I don't know, um, 45. You know, two for 45. Or you can buy them individually, which two would be 50, actually. I mean, something, something, you know, because you're buying, you're paying the same amount of money on a regular Mothership palette that has 10 pans compared to just five. And there's actually six new singles, which sucks. So it's just, I don't know. I am very, 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 um bummed out when it comes to that so in new colors the six new colors let's see if we could try to figure out which one I know purple rain is not a new color Pur purple rain comes in one of the minis a dark matter is one of the ones we just swatched deep velvet burnished honey and statuesque I think are three new colors and these are just the mattes all right so basically you have a lot of repeats and the ones that are not repeats, it's going to be statuesque, burnished honey. All of the creamy uh, shimmers are repeats. And then um, corrupt copper, rose venus, crimson fire, and synthetica are actually new colors. So synthetica is a uh, shimmered purple. Crimson fire kind of looks like a... Um, like a really dark pink shimmer uh rose venus kind of looks like uh like a rose like a like a pink a pale pink uh of course shimmer corrupt copper it's a coppered uh it's a shimmer copper statuesque is probably going to be like your plain jane nude and then burnished honey it's kind of like a brownish reddish uh, matte color so yeah those are gonna be the six ones that are new 25 bucks a pop so we'll see we'll see when they launch those are going to be launching I believe at the end of this uh, month which is March now uh, basically to conclude this video because I no longer want to yap I want to do my first giveaway and my first giveaway is going to be the very first mothership palette so this palette is 125 it is not a it is not a a knockoff <laughs> please don't think it's a knockoff but i am giving away very first don't want to put my fingerprints all over it but this is going to be the subliminal palette so as you can see brand spanking new i have my own so this giveaway is going to basically be my first giveaway ever i do i am thinking about the rules of my uh, giveaway. But what I can say is right now, 
if you want your chance to basically win this mothership palette i suggest you subscribe if you have an instagram my link to instagram is going to be down below click on it give me a follow you don't have an instagram and if you only have a facebook my link to facebook is also going to be down below click on it send me a friend request I pretty much accept everybody because, you know, it's just makeup and that's just it. I don't share any extreme personal information. Um, so, yeah, more details on this giveaway will come to you very, very soon. But I can go ahead and tell you that it will include subscription to my channel as well as followers on Instagram. So if you want your chance to win this authentic Pat McGrath Mothership One Subliminal Palette, because I always get it confused with Sublime, Subliminal Palette, give me a follow, subscribe to my channel, don't forget to like this video, and we will see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.